Welcome to Wildcat Bassoon. This is posted from the University of Kentucky Bassoon Studio. And this year in Kentucky, the Kentucky All-State excerpts include number 15 from the Advanced Studies of Julius Weisenborn. So I'm going to talk a little bit about some tips for learning this. And if you're out of state, this is a great uh, etude for you to learn, so maybe this will be helpful. Um, one of the things that's done in the Allstate is they give suggested tempos, and the suggested tempo for this Allegro Scherzando, which by the way means fast and playful, is 180, sounds like this. So if we put the metronome on like that and play the beginning of this, we get something like... etc. Now, to me, that seems a little bit hectic, and I would really like to feel this in one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So instead, I'm going to set my metronome on 60. Now this is pulsing once per measure, but the tempo is really the same. It sounds like this. Etc. So you can see that I get much more into the swing of the 3-4 fast meter, and I'm not so oriented into those individual beats. Even better would be to be every other measure. So if you have a metronome that'll do 30 beats a minute, like this one, if I can get it to work, go. Or a lot of smartphones will do something even slower than this. So now this is beating every other measure, but it's the same tempo. Etc. And that really gives a flow to the music. It depends much more on the musician to time things appropriately. And the groupings in here are based on two measure groupings anyway. So I would recommend at least beating once per bar, which is at 60. And if you can, find a metronome that goes slower, learn to do it once every two bars. Okay, what about the material in here? There's a gesture that's been done at the beginning of this that we could break up into two components. One is the three notes coming up the scale and just fading away. And then we use three notes to lead into the same gesture. With a little different articulation. So when we put those together, we get that sort of a, a, a milieu. So going back into breaking this up into pieces, a way to practice it would be something like this. So that I'm getting all the gestures that pick up into a beat and all those that are falling away from the beat, tailing off a little bit. In the next section of the piece, which is about 12 bars long or so, there's a little gesture that sounds like this. Kind of more dramatic than we've had before. We could strip away a lot of these notes and simplify it so that it just sounded like this. That's eight bars simplified, and you notice how the mood changes. It sort of starts kind of dark and ominous, and the next one is a little more lighthearted. Putting all the notes back, and now we're poised to do the next gesture, which kind of tumbles down slowly, etc. This could be simplified in your practice just to get the general trend, which is tumbling down slowly. We could do something like this. Etc. And finally, we get out of this trend by going with all the notes. That sort of thing. So, with all the notes, it sounds like this. Set up for the next section.
section. The next section is labeled tranquillo, which means calm. Oddly enough, the notes are kind of jumping around some, and there's pretty extreme dynamic changes on the page, so it looks anything but calm. So how are we going to give a little more calm mood? Well, I think that the tempo ought to be slowed a little bit there, and rather than emphasizing all these, this jumping around, we should try to make it smooth. So, one thing you could do to practice this would be to simplify what we've got in the real music. We've got all this jumping around of chords. If I simplify it, I could just simply use every other note. That sort of thing. And now, with all the notes, getting that same sort of um, feeling of calm. So all the dynamic changes I've modified, I haven't made extreme fortes or piano, because that seems to me not very calm at all. Um, at the end of this section, we tail off to a cadence in a major key. And in this one, we have sort of two parts going on simultaneously, one of which stays on the same note, and the other moves step by step. <laughs> I slow down, even though it doesn't say to in the music. The real music actually goes on to another section, but if we're going to stop here, we should make it sound more conclusive. Now, a way to simplify this and practice it would be to take off the repeated Fs. We'd have something like this. Again, with all the notes. And those things, if you'll practice them, taking the thing a little bit apart, practicing these individual gestures, and getting a feel for this meter, trying the metronome a little bit slower in terms of one per measure, one every two measures, I think you'll have better results. Good luck!